Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and I am going to make a series of videos about rule relation algorithm in detail with a clear cut explanation about all the different criteria that is there in rule relation algorithm. And this video, this is a series of videos, total 7 videos, it is going to explain about rule relation algorithm each criteria in one video. If you are watching this video, please be noted that there are other videos maybe in front of this video or after this video which covers the entire rule resolution algorithm process. So before we get into the rule resolution algorithm and we are going to start a new training batch on PEGA from this May 31st 2022. Timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST Indian standard time. If you have any of your friends who are looking for the same you can refer them. And if any of your friends who are freshers or any one of your connections who are freshers graduated on in any degree and who have gap after education or if they are looking for a career change, I mean like if they are already working and looking for a career change, you can recommend Harsha trainings. We, just, we suggest them the best and high demanding course in the market and get them achieve their goals to get into the IT field and get the IT job. And now, this is seventh and the final video of rule resolution algorithm process where I am going to explain the entire all and all criteria of rule resolution algorithm with a diagrammatic clear cut explanation. If you have any questions or any doubts, please post your questions in the comment section below of this video. And if you are attending interviews on PEGA, if you have any queries for which you are looking for answers, please post those questions in the comment section below. We would be happy to help you and assist you. Now, in the rule resolution algorithm, PRPC is going to execute all the checkpoints of rule cache, class inheritance, rules at hierarchy, rule availability, circumstance and authorization. All this will be considered. Let me show you now. I have drawn it like this. You can draw as a flowchart also. It is up to you, whichever that you are convenient with. Okay, control Z. Hold on. Okay, see here. Okay, this is the diagram. Up to here. Okay, see, these are the steps rule cache, rule availability, some of the steps, circumstance, and then again, operator authorization, rule authorization, and processing. See, there are 10 steps that are involved in the rule addition algorithm execution. Whenever a requester is going to request for a rule, Process command executes rule resolution algorithm. This is the order of execution. First one is rule cache. First one is what? Rule cache. Process commander always verifies the rule cache tables. It is there in the rule cache. Then what will happen? It takes the rule from rule cache as a best instance. It picks the rule. <laughs> then it verifies that the rule is blocked. The rule is, let's say for example, it is blocked then it won't process the rule right that you are aware of if it is not blocked verifies that operator is authorized to access the rule or not if operator is authorized to access the rule it process the rule and present the rule to the requester total how many steps executed five out of ten when the rule is in cache prpc picks the rule from the cache and verifies that the rule is not blocked and then verifies that the operator is authorized to access the rule or not and then process the rule and present the rule to the requester when everything is successfully done. Everyone clear? This is what going to happen when the rule is there in cache. Imagine rule is not there in the cache, means for the first time you are accessing it. When the rule is not there in the cache, process commander collects all the rules, collects all the rules with matching name and type. Same name rule is there in current class, division class, framework class, Ordination class, OTV classes, current application rule set, framework application rule set, multiple places it is there. In different application everywhere. So PRPC is going to collect the rules matching with name and type. It has bunch of rules now. And then it starts filtering the rules. It ignores the rules which are not in the applicable class inheritance hierarchy. Can you tell me what, what are the classes 
in which the rules will be away, will be there but not in the inheritance hierarchy so far with your knowledge which classes are those what are the classes which doesn't come in the inheritance data class data, data classes data classes integration data data. ignores the rules which are not in the applicable class inheritance hierarchy it has removed some of the rules now still some bunch is there in this bunch it ignores the rules filters the rules which are not available now some more bunch is remaining right from this bunch it ignores the rules filters the rules which are withdrawn any status withdrawn availability withdrawn it will filter out still i have a bunch of rules and this is the final bunch that i have in this bunch of rules it is going to rank the role by inheritance hierarchy role set hierarchy versioning everyone clear so now imagine finally i have got remaining five roles out of which one role is in organization one role is in division one role is in implementation one is in framework one is in odb five roles are remaining after i filter it will rank the highest rank will go to current class current class if it is not there in current class nearby pattern parent like that highest rank role is the best instance now means current class current application current rule set highest version how many rules are there now in hand mostly one or more is possible one or more how it is possible there may be circumstance for the highest version how many rules still i have bunch of rules right maybe one or two or three when it is circumstance finally there is no circumstance one i got circumstance is there more than one is there still out of this one should be found right best instance it will verify circumstance is there or not there circumstance is there imagine it will verify the condition condition satisfied whichever the condition satisfied that circumstance instance it is going to pick condition not satisfied it will go to base instance after this checkpoint is done of circumstance finally how many instances are there in hand for the browser commander only one instance is there that is the best instance it will not process now it find the best instance right it will put that best instance into the cache even if it is for the first time once it finds the best instance it plays the first best instance in the cache fix the instance from the cache and then verify that it is blocked or not and verify that the operator is authorized to access and process and present the rule correct question everyone understand this is the execution of rule resolution algorithm see whenever process commander executes rule resolution algorithm that is whenever a request is requesting for a rule process commander starts executing rule resolution algorithm we need to divide it into two parts one is rule present in cache rule not present in cache if rule is present in cache process commander picks the role and looks at whether it is blocked or not and verifies that the operator is authorized to access or not process and present the rule to the requester understand clear and next imagine rule is not there in cache then prpc collects all the rules with matching name and type from everywhere in pega starts filtering the rules filters the rules which are not available not in the inheritance hierarchy filters the rules which are withdrawn which are not in the applicable rule set hierarchy and then in the remaining rules it is going to rank the rule by class inheritance rule set hierarchy and circumstance and it verify if circumstance is found circumstance instance is best instance condition satisfied else base instance is best instance it takes the best instance and push it into the cache fix from the cache and verify that it is blocked or not and then process the rule and verify that the operator is authorized to access the rule or not and process the rule and present the rule to the request this is what about rule resolution algorithm okay and now rule availability final let me tell you once again that is final means it is available for processing but a final rule cannot be saved as from one rule set to another rule set for overriding it is not possible cannot be that is the feature of final method overriding is prevented rule overriding is prevented okay so this is about rule resolution algorithm okay and i have one question in the rule resolution algorithm i will post this video in youtube channel and you post your answer there in the comment section let me ask you a question this is for everyone see in the rule resolution algorithm if you have observed i'm sorry In the rule relation algorithm, why it is open? Okay. If you have observed, 
rule availability blocked process command is verifying blocked after picking the right best instance from the cache why blocked is been placed here why not blocked can be at the beginning itself to ignore the rule why blocked has to be placed at the step 8 after verifying the what is that after verifying the after getting the best instance why not blocked can be placed at the very beginning step and ignore the block is there stop it just think about it and post your answer in the youtube channel under this particular video and one more thing is that uh, apart from this block and this diagram what you are seeing here on the screen draw this diagram as a flow chart flow diagrams we have right same diagram you redesign it like a flow diagram post that flow diagram screenshot in our instagram okay tag that on our instagram i'll review once harsha trainings instagram same diagram what i have shown here re uh, re redesign this as a flow diagram workflow diagram and post the screenshot there